What up, Dokoners? Welcome back to Tsunami for some breaking news on Dragon Ball Z! Dokkan battle in the middle of the Super Bowl, too. Uh, I think we already knew that the data download was going to be happening at this time. I was not paying attention to the data download. I was just going on a Twitter meme frenzy. If you guys don't follow me on Twitter, make sure you do. I've just been posting, like, Photoshop after Photoshop of funny stuff. I've just been having a lot of fun watching the game and doing that. But anyway, Dokkan has some big news we want to talk about right now, so let's jump in. We're on the Dokkan Game Leak website, the Japanese one, so the translations are a little rough because of Google. We're just going to go from top to bottom. New support item, memory, siblings bond, right? When your HP is 50% or less, you recover 18% HP. And for one turn, attack and defense plus 18% for all allies in the siblings bond category. What that looks like, we'll show you right now. I'm just basically going to be scrolling through Hydros and Carry and uh, Kawhi and all of these... Uh, folks, so shout out to them. Oh, here we go. So here is the act uh, the support memory what it looks like uh, Also, it's a little smaller. So sorry about that, but shout out to all the data miners for being on top of this as always uh, It's because of them that we're able to get all this information so quickly But as you can see this is the scene right when she sacrifices herself for 17 to continue So obviously that's why the numbers are all attributed to 18 and there's your support memory. Now, Roshi's LR. We have the information on Roshi's LR. So, in the Dokkan Wiki, Turtle School, key plus 250% is the TUR. Uh, now, as you can see here, 80% across the board, key plus 3 for the Turtle School category. He's obviously going to be getting an EZA, which is why it's so low, right? But we can look at the rest of his build and take a look at what it does right now. Raises attack for one turn. Wait, no. Super significantly. I'm guessing that's massively raising attack. Massively raises attack for one turn or super sig whatever it is. Causes Im colossal damage to the enemy and stuns at a high chance to stun. Man, it's rough to do live translations from English. <laughs> Ma okay, so my guess is massively raises attack for one turn or greatly. Causes colossal damage with a high chance to stun. Raises attack by 628% for the ultra super. Causes mega colossal damage to the enemy. And as you can see here, the key 18 says magical wave. That is indeed the Mafuba. So let me show you what is going on with the Mafuba. Oh man, they're bringing out all the stops here. Woo! Okay, they're bringing all the dudes for the tournament. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. I love this. Uh, okay, it's not here. Is it here? I'm also really scared to scroll through Twitter and, you know, come across all the nasty stuff, so... Hoping we can see... Is it this one? Okay, I believe... Okay, so this is the 12 key. I think this is the 12 key. This is just the... Kamehameha. This is my final Kamehameha! Alright, very nice. I like the build-up. I like the build-up. So at double speed, that's gonna look pretty good. And that is... Oh, no, no! That's his ultra super. Oh, no, no, that, that, that's his regular super. Okay. Where is the other one? Man, it's so hard to find these now. All of a sudden, they're... Oh, here we go. Or maybe it's the other way around. So there's the Mafuba. Oh, no, yeah, this this is the 12 key. Yeah, I, I had it mixed up. So this is the 12 key. The 12 key is the Sleeping Fist. Yoiko Sleeping Fist, sure. That's what the 12 key looks like. Yeah, and the other one is the 18 key. That actually looked way too dramatic for it to not be the 18 key. So let's look at it one more time. Saying goodbye to his students as he unleashes one final Kamehameha. So that is Master Roshi's LR. I love it. I dig it. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to use that in six months on Global. His passive. Defense plus 100% avoids attacks with a medium probability. So medium chance to dodge. He plus two for all allies in the turtle school category. Attack and defense plus 30%. And two other allies in the turtle school category in the team if your body is above your body and you're 50. <laughs> what the heck? What? Stupid Google. Attack and defense plus 30%. Two other turtle school allies in the team if your body is above your body and your HP is 50% or less at the beginning of your attack. God. Okay. So, attack and defense plus 30%, I'm guessing you have to have that with two other Turtle School allies attacking on the same turn, 
and your HP has to be less than 50%. Even if allies... Oh, this is the, uh, this is the passive... Oh, So the free-to-play, uh, recovery skill is kicking in here. Even if allies, including yourself, who are participating in the attack are KO'd, your HP will recover with 50% HP. Okay, so there you go. And the active skill was actually what that was. That's not the, that's not the Kamehameha. That's the active skill. So, I'm, I'm learning this as I go, so bear with me, folks. This is the active skill. Okay, so yeah, that was the active skill. My bad, my bad. Active skill. Raises attack extremely significantly. So, you know, massively, ridiculously raises attack, causes ultimate damage, and gives key plus seven to all allies. If you are attacked seven times or more during the battle, you can activate it when there are other allies in the Turtle School category who are participating in the attack. Okay. There you go. So that is the active skill. The 18 key has yet to be found. I think information is still coming in. The data miners are hard at work. So the information is not here yet for the 18 key, I guess. But that's the active skill. I, you know, I should have I should have wondered why it was so dramatic. Oh, there it is. There it is. 18 key. So there's the Mafuba 18 key. Very nice. They did it. One more look at it. So there you go. 12 key, 18 key, and active skill. Very, very, very nice. And he will get an easy A, so his leader skill will get better. And everything else will get better. Now, let's move on. They're also getting TURs for the free-to-play duo units. I mean, this was obvious, right? So I don't really need to dwell on that too much. It's just basically an improvement of what they do right now. Earthlings key plus 350%. And join forces key plus 350%. They just get upgrades for that. Let's just see if that information is coming in on the Dokkan Wiki. It's just easier to read over here. It's not here yet. Yeah. Information is still coming in. So that's not all. There is a little bit more, and that is Autonomous Ultra Instinct. The MUI, or the Complete Ultra Instinct. The easy information is here. And we talked about this on the previous video where we were saying, all right, he's probably just going to raise attack and defense, have 150% attack and defense, and then just add a little bit more. Well, we were wrong. It's attack plus 200, defense plus 100. Great chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks. Disables enemy guard, which makes sense. Evades enemies' attack, including super attack, for one turn after awakening. So, disables enemy guard is followed by a semicolon, which means that is separate. So, what you want to know, for the entirety of your transformation, you will have all of this. You'll have a 70% chance dodge rate. Attack and defense plus 200. No, attack plus 200, defense plus 100. And then for the first turn, you are guaranteed to dodge everything. So basically, it's... It, I mean, it's great, but what I'm thinking of is, from a strategic standpoint, you have to try to see if you're, if you can manipulate the situation where if your health falls below 50%, you transform. That's the turn that like all the scary stuff needs to happen because you can just dodge all of it. Um, but that's that's great, right? Because in the show, that's exactly what happens. He can't be touched, right? Right as he transforms. So I love it. He's so good. This dude is so good. And interestingly enough. I think it was, was it Hydros? It was somebody who posted an image after just a few turns. He was at 700k. Here we go. Turn 6. 700,000, 200,000. And then look at the rainbow. So they're both at rainbow status. Look at the LR rainbow. 300,000, 170,000. Uh, that dude's been working out. Right? All right? So, yeah. that That's a lot to take in. All right, I'm going to I'm going to leave it there. I don't I don't want to I'm just going to go ahead and refresh all of these uh, Twitters real quick just in case there's anything else. There shouldn't be. Oh, well, here are the animations, right? This is the this is the combo attack for TN and Roshi. And then this is Oh yeah. <laughs> this is the free to play Son Goku Ultra Instinct TUR. As you can see, they put a lot of effort into that animation. Probably the best one of the entire showcase. So, congratulations, free play players! You are going to be getting a wonderful, wonderful new edition with a very, very unique animation. And then this is the Krillin 18, of course, duo. Oh, it's the volleyball thing. That's dope. I like it. I like it. Um, and then lastly, 
you might have already seen this. I think, uh, was it Carrie who was showing it? All of the various assets. So they are really going out uh, like crazy with the Universe Rebel Saga representation. This was that Shadow Lady, I think, that, well, Roshi fought. I forget where this guy's from. He's obviously from Universe Rebel Saga. Uh, this is the dude where Roshi electrocutes him and turns him into, like, a roast chicken. Here are all the gods. This is crazy. I, I, it's, JP, you guys are so lucky. You get to experience this right now. I gotta sit back and wait. Unless I decide to, you know, play my JP version a little bit more. It wouldn't keep freezing. But that's it. So, that's all the information that we have right now. If anything more comes in, as of me recording this, I mean, I am a little early. So, uh, I will post it in the pinned comment or in the description or what, probably the pinned comment. So let me know if I miss anything. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments, JP players. Are you excited for the EZA for the Int UI? Are you excited for Roshi's LR, the active skill, how epic that looks? What has you most hyped out of all of this that I just told you? Let me know in the comments down below. And also be sure to subscribe for more Dole content in the future. What? Did I just say Dole content? I think I did. I think I did. Also be sure to subscribe for more Dole content in the future. Do it. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. Always remember to don't call and talk responsibly. I don't know what that was. I'm just... I'm... Goodbye. <laughs>